I am at IFOS London's office and I'm about to leave towards Dorset uh, because there's some budgets there that need some help. Uh, this time it's not about patrolling, this is not about the Wounded Budget Patrol as I did last year. This is about vaccination. There's a group called the Dorset Budget Vaccination Project. I'm going to go and see what they do. And how many jobs you have left for this year? We've got 11 jobs on, so we've got seven left seven, after seven. this. Yeah. All around Dorset, right from the right from the Jurassic Coast to the Devon border, up to Shaftesbury. So all around Dorset. And when did you get your accreditation? Last year. Well, we, we did our course together in September, September wasn't it? September last year, yeah. Okay. Uh, we were accredited uh, um, in October last year. So it's accreditation, then it's certification, and then you can become licensed. So that's the actual license. Uh, the third job uh, we did for the local authority and we had to work quite hard to get them on board but they, they were swung by the fact that we can offer this service at no cost to the taxpayer and, uh, and they, they, they are now really supportive because they see it as politically neutral. And all the jobs, they've been successful? Well, I, I would say so, wouldn't you, Melvin? I think they've been very successful. Um, we've we got more uh, badges than we thought we were going to get. Um, so, you know, hopefully we've got sort of probably at least 70% of the, of the population that are living there, if, if, if not more. We just arrived to the farm and started looking around for the best possible place. We, we came and um, did a survey here in March and uh, so we had an idea of what we were dealing with and then we came back and yeah it's, it's all about reading field signs. And where did you get the traps? Did you buy them? Or? The Badger Trust, we bought a pallet load, 18 traps uh, out of our funds and the Badger Trust bought us a pallet load, well they're theirs, but they're ours on a permanent loan. Right. So they bought us a pallet loan. So we like the Badger Trust a lot. <laughs> Anyone, basically, who gives us anything that helps us do the job, we think is fantastic. And who else has even given you anything? Well, Eiffel's lent us the vehicle, which has been priceless. Lush, we put in... Lush gave us three grand from their charity pot. So, you mm -hmm. know... We also had a lot, lot of sort of um, individuals actually donating money. Yeah, um, hounds off. Yeah. Give us a hounds grand. Off, yeah, give us money. Within the steering committee, you know, we've actually we are putting in yeah. a lot. And we've actually put in money to actually pay for our training and you know all our our personal costs are funded by ourselves. Travel. Travel. <laughs> Bait. <laughs> Peanuts, sweet corn. And time. Yeah. And time. <laughs> it all adds up. So how many days has been baiting in this site? This is day 13. Of baiting in this particular site, so yeah. after 13 days yeah. they're Yeah, they've quiet. sussed it. Yeah. <laughs> Each stone is between 3 and 5 kilograms, which is what Avla reckon is shiftable by a badger, but nothing else. You see over there, a little dig hole. Yeah. So that was where the bait was over a week ago. Right. And then we gradually moved the bait nearer and nearer right. to the edge of the trap, then to the front, then to the middle, one, and then the last couple of nights to the back. Right. So, so Billy comes along, pulls that backwards, which pops that. Yep. You can have a misfire because it might 
have another badger behind it which isn't fully in the trap and then they both reverse out. I mean it's not 100% but yeah. it's about as good as we can get it. So how many cages altogether do you have um, on this yeah. site? On the site it's 27. 27 cages. Yeah. Me. So trap 14 is a hit. Yep. Awesome. Tape rather. It's a real mixture of um, strict paperwork and officialdom and rules and regs and, you know, Boy Scouts. Right. <laughs> this is a hooky stick and it's essential. Right. A hooky stick. Stick with hook. <laughs> is there a problem with this is a hook. Oh. Yeah. Now the, these along this hedge, these have been a consistently good hit from the beginning. And, uh, and we knew this was a badger path, not just because of all the obvious tracks, but there's a piece of strand of barbed wire a bit further on where we found badger hairs. So, you know, not only did we know because of the field signs, but it, it was proved. We're making it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it's not. Yeah. Each fact they has to have done the course. And then when they've done the course, they then have to be, um, have a certificate of competence um, to actually do this work. Um, and that certificate lasts for a year, so every year they have to reapply. Um, and then we're actually audited um, to make sure basically we're working in, uh, with the right protocols. So you have inspections? So we are inspected, yeah. We're actually being inspected next month, uh, in about a month's time. This is the first time. 25, right? We've never had a hit. Never had a take until last night. Why are you whispering? Because we're actually on the badger set. Alright. Tell me, why, why are you disinfecting? Well, it is infecting you basically, potentially the badgers, you know, have uh, been blamed for TB. So, we're using disinfectant, it's actually approved for the destruction of TB. So, it's just a, in case there is any any bugs, we don't want to take anything off. And cross contaminate exactly. another. Yeah. What time is it? Always vaccinate at dawn. And why is that? Why? Why no? So we can get it done and get the badgers out of the traps as quick as possible. Yeah. Everything's to do with badger welfare. That's a fridge. Yeah. And then here you have what the vaccines? Yeah. It's um. Oops. It's temperature controlled, so the vaccine and the diluent is all in that. And we have to keep it between. I think it's. Two and eight degrees. Yeah. Well, have a quick look, right. seeing how many yeah. badges we've actually got. Yeah. Um, then we'll come back to the vehicle, um, get the vaccine ready, and then go. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, two adults. Yeah. Two adults there, in addition to this one. Yeah, along right. this head. Four all together. Four, yeah. Two more, an adult and a cub. where we are, our reference, who's here. I can put you both down as non-accredited staff. Well, we don't, we don't know how many there are. I mean, yeah. last night, I mean, a group became sort of... Right. Well, that's, that's the so, 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 so these, yeah. these are the cubs, right. so that the needles are slightly shorter, yeah. and these are going to be for the adults. Right. Yeah. Four and a, four and a there's food and room, they'll stay. Yeah. We should. Get, get the wickets in. So then we'll just basically just check before we release them, or we'll just check to make sure that they're fit and healthy. Yeah. Um, mark them, release them. 
it's stock market. It's a spray stock market, um, <coughs> which we could be using a yellow today. So. Why Dorset? Is Dorset a particular place for? Dorset is is potentially a hot spot for TB. Um, we have a lot of dairy farms, a lot of beef farms, and so and we have a lot of badgers. And so basically, by concentrating in Dorset, um, we can actually sort of start eliminating TB in this area. I've probably vaccinated um, this year probably about 20 uh, myself. This project basically will be going on for um, another four years, um, but we need to basically cover the whole of Dorset. So it's a big job. And you think if enough vaccination projects take place around, would not be a need to cull badgers? Or no, there's no need to cull badgers at all. If you cull badgers, then they perturbate, so the badgers basically spread. And any spread of animals then uh, potentially will spread disease because you're just taking the, those animals further and further away. But by vaccinating them, the badgers don't move and we get herd immunity. We don't need to vaccinate every badger. And so we get herd immu immunity and then TB basically doesn't become a problem in that sense.